this is just absolutely amazing. You know, we have solid science and it's literally buried. And we have plenty of other examples of this going on. We have misinterpretation of bad science. So in 2020, I came across a paper that studied cholesterol supplementation and atorvastatin, which is a statin, a cholesterol-lowering medication use, in New Zealand white rabbits. Clearly, you know, has no applicability at all for humans. And yet in the conclusion, the authors of this paper suggested their results did apply to human patients. This is 2020, and we're using rabbit data to inform our use of statins. There was another study that actually looked at statin use and it found that it actually increased the incidence of diabetes. So if I actually can quote, they said that uh, it was a New England Journal, actually this is a few years old, 2008, but it was a statin trial. Uh, they found that there was a significant increase in physician reported incidence of diabetes and there was a statistically significant increase in HbA1c, which is a marker of average blood glucose levels. The authors also acknowledged that prior to this time, there were independent studies that confirmed worsening sugar control for at least three different types of statin medication. So on the basis of this, they had statistically significant findings. Now, my understanding and everybody's understanding of statistical significance is that it represents findings that are unlikely to be due to chance. We want to take out the element of chance, and we do that to a, a, you know, a reasonable degree. Still, in the conclusion, these authors said, well, this worsening sugar control could reflect the play of chance. That fires the logic of having statistically significant findings. They simply could not compel themselves to look at the science and understand the science and say, oh, maybe statins are bad for diabetes. Maybe this is the evidence. Nope, they just said, oh, look, it's probably a random chance. Never mind that it reached statistical significance. 